they're sitting here doing this challenge showing everything you can see everything literally this the woman that's gonna have my child are these the women i'm supposed to be going so hard for i can't Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So this video, I already posted a video previously about the Mega Stellium challenge that has gotten everybody talking. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. So in this video, it's a video of a black man coming to talk about the challenge and talking about, oh, the girls doing the challenge. Are this the type of girls that people want us to get married to? And we just went on, was just talking about, oh, how um, girls are d girls doing this challenge are degrading themselves, yada, yada, yada. But his conversation, where he started his conversation from, has gotten a lot of people talking because he's talking about how no wife in girls that are doing challenge like that, how girls uh, do, do not respect themselves, uh, how, like, all sort of thing. And this has strike a bigger conversation. Anyway, guys, let's go hear what he has to say. Then I'll come back and share more of my thought. But let's go on and sh check what he has to say. Are these supposed to be the women we're marrying, taking care of, spoiling, marrying? Are these the same women we're supposed to be doing that? Listen, these women are on here doing whatever their role model is doing. These women are on here shaking their tail, doing the Megan the Stallion challenge. But they're complaining about men. They're talking about being married one day. I'm not, we're supposed to be marrying you and you're shaking that. Like, we got to be real here. Listen, is this is what my future wife is going to be doing? Is this marriage material? I'm wilding? I mean, like, let me know if I'm wilding in the comments. And then the men are giving them the attention they want. You're feeding into it. And then you end up dating or cuffing or even marrying one of these women. And then you're surprised with the outcome. You're wondering why these women are single. It's because they're doing things like this, but you end up dating them. They're sitting here doing this challenge, showing everything. You can see everything. Can see everybody. Literally. <laughs> this the woman that's going to have my child? Are these the women I'm supposed to be going so hard for? I can't defend that. I'm sorry. And this is one of the reasons why I started the Soft Guy Era movement. These women do things like this, but expect a man to be perfect and do all these extra things, pay for everything and do everything for them. Bro, no, it does not make sense. This is why the Soft Guy Era exists. Please let me know what you think about what he said down in the comment section. And yes, he's the face of Soft Man Era, Soft Boy Era. He's the face of it. And for a lot of these men to think that Maybe some of them are not getting the memo of what's going on now. Like, we women were like, okay, we're done. But anyway, his video got a lot of people's response. People are talking about his video and commenting on his video. And let's go hear what people have to say if they agree with him or if they disagree with him. Let's go check it out. Then I'll come back and share my own thought. But please, I'd like to know your own thought. Go down and share your thought about what he said and what you think about it. And with that all said, let's go check it out. Like, we got to be real here. Listen, is this is what my future wife... So I'm sure a lot of guys will call me a simp and this, that, and the third. I don't give a shit. What I just, I just don't understand, why are y'all policing women that you don't even know? And women who probably don't want to know y'all. Not only that, you're already policing imaginary wives that you don't have, oh, what, if, what, what, what am I supposed to, my wife was doing the Megan challenge. If you don't want to marry somebody or be with somebody who was doing the Megan the Stallion challenge or twerking on a pole or doing backflips in a thought, whatever, then don't, then don't, you don't have to get online and, and shake your, your finger, wag your finger at them and try to shame these people for enjoying their lives. Mind, mm -hmm. my, mind your business. These supposed to be the women we're marrying, taking care of, spoiling. I find it crazy that a lot of women will hop on every trend, every nasty uh, movement that goes on, but every toxicity thing. But y'all never show plates of food. Y'all never cook home cooked meals. A lot of women will say they want marriage and stuff like that, but don't want to be wives. Yeah. The stuff y'all be doing online is insane. Shaking your butt because a celebrity did it is insane. The, the, the way you guys idolize some celebrity women is insane to me. There's nothing wrong with Meg Thee Stallion. She's a beautiful woman. I'm not here to hate on her, but I just don't understand why this is the only thing women have to offer in this generation. And shout out to the women who don't need to, you know, do every single trend they see, who don't need to gyrate. I find that weird that you would shake your ass. 
and then everybody could see it. But yet you call every other woman a pick me, but you're the real pick me because you have to do everything for attention and validation. You have nothing to offer but your booty and wonder why that's all men want nowadays. Show me your plate of food, lady. Are these supposed to be what? the women we're marrying, taking care of, spoiling? No, they're not. Because you look like you might be pushing 40. You're supposed to be finding women whose knees don't work like that, whose hips don't work like that. That's who you're supposed to be looking for. But instead, you're looking at the youth, and the youth is out there having a good time. Working them knees, working them hips. Don't yes, that's what you do when you're young. You are supposed to be finding somebody who is a couple years away from scheduling their colonoscopy. Somebody who's probably had a mammogram already. That's who you need to be okay. looking for, buddy. Leave them young churn alone and let them shake their on TikTok, okay? Mind your business. Are these supposed to be the women we're marrying? Y'all, and as a woman, I 100% agree. We sit up here and yell, oh, there's no good man out here. Oh, all men are the same. But look how you carry yourself. If you're sitting on the internet just showing your body off, why would a man respect you? Why would a man value you? Why would a man wife you? We got to learn as women to stop degrading ourselves and just showing our bodies out to a bunch of men who don't care about us, who only want one thing from us. And when you value yourself and realize that you're worth way more than just showing your body off, then you will know that will be the least thing that you will do is show your body off. Attract men in the way that you deserve to be attracted and not in a sexual way. You want to be a wife? Start carrying yourself as a wife. A wife won't be on the internet just twerking, showing her body off. She'll sit around and wait to do those things for her husband. And to each his own. Are these supposed to be the women we're marrying, taking care of, spoiling? Are straight men okay? Are y'all mouths not dry from talking about the same shit every two or three business days? And the gag is y'all will still get with these good morale women and still cheat on them with the women y'all get online complaining about. Exactly. So what do we do now? And what, what, what is the bring it to the table? What table? The table is from Ikea. Let it go. In the stallion challenge. <laughs> but they're complaining about men. They're talking about being married one day. First and foremost, this picture of Megan the Stallion. Look at this gorgeous woman. You're welcome. Second of all, this is what decentering you guys looks like. So your little soliloquy trying to police women's behavior, that, that's going to fall on deaf ears. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We do not care. There you go. We don't care. And of course we're complaining about men. It's no longer safe for us to go outside. And yes, we do eventually want a relationship with a good man. And... But until then, baddies are gonna baddies baddies are gonna baddie booties are gonna shake whether you like it or not you just minds what you just might as well either keep scrolling or enjoy the show okay. so but you clearly enjoyed the show so you just told on yourself there because you wouldn't be making this video if you didn't watch the challenge and i'm sure you sat throughout you sat through the whole thing and you scrolled and saw challenge after challenge so the fact that you're you're, you're clutching your imaginary pearls over this. I just call cap. It's just BS. Your opinions, your thoughts, your feelings are no longer a factor. Get that through your heads. My God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should I say it slower? Your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions are no longer a factor. It's no longer part of the equation. This is what decentering men looks like. Either okay. suck it up and deal and move on, work on yourselves and think and work on becoming better men, or sit there and cry in your apartment about it. Whatever you decide, we hope it's the bettering yourself and helping yourself. But like I said, we no longer give a damn. This is not, you're not the gaze anymore.
Okay? Mm -hmm. We're not, this is not for you. It has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. I hope this helps. Have the Friday you deserve. Oof. This the woman that's going to have my child? Are these the women I'm supposed to be going so hard for? I can't. This the woman supposed to have my child? I can't go hard for that. Ugh. Shut up and move around. Ugh. You gotta take the fun out of everything. Also, in what world would you have a chance with any of these women who are participating in these challenges? Please, quickly. Please. Influencing grown adult. Hey, <laughs> let's be real here. Bro is absolutely right about that shit. Like, I know we tend to think that a lot of this stuff is just harmless and it doesn't bother anybody and stuff like that, but a lot of the stuff that we as adults post online does have a direct influence on a lot of kids and we honestly need to start being more aware of that like we re most of the challenges that a lot of y'all women tend to post online they they don't even be real challenges it's just literally just y'all shaking y'all with a different camera angle <laughs> i don't know what's the challenge i guess changing the camera angle or something i don't know but regardless a lot of kids do see this stuff and y'all should already know that especially since y'all posting it on tiktok instagram facebook it's just viral it's literally viral this is the type of stuff that goes viral nowadays okay so <laughs> if you really think that it don't have a direct influence on kids then you're crazy some girl on my facebook just yesterday she just shared a profile from instagram and this profile was a profile of some little girl and she's on there doing the meg the stallion challenge and then she got a couple of other videos where she's just on there just twerking basically you know what i'm saying and some shorts and shit like that and <laughs> that is because of what they see online they are directly influenced by the stuff that we post as adults so we really need to start being more aware of the things that we post and stop just assuming that kids are not seeing it because they are like come on we was kids once we already know it's not that hard to get access to this stuff a lot of them are gonna lie about their age so they can get access to a lot of stuff so why are we playing stupid as adults i i don't get it so with people's reaction to his video the original creator that started this conversation with people's um talk and all that he decided to create a respond video to respond to it that's the video this last um creator stitch so he decided to do a reaction video to explain why he feels like you know what this type of content is a no-no it should not be posted online apart from the male gaze is also going to affect the younger people anyway guys let's go check it out then we'll come back and talk more shaking like we got to be real here listen is this is what my future wife so i'm sure a lot of guys will call me a simp and this that, and the third i don't give a shit but I just, I just don't understand why are y'all policing women that you don't even know and women who probably don't want to know y'all. Not only that, you're po already policing imaginary wives that you don't have. Oh, what, if, what, what, what am I supposed to? My wife was doing the Megan challenge. If you don't want to marry somebody or be with somebody who was doing the Megan the Stallion challenge or twerking on a pole or doing backflips in a thought. So people like you really make me mad, bro, because you're not seeing the problem with this. Since we're making the Megan the Stallion challenge normal, let's talk about it. So since women getting on the internet showing cleavage twerking in panties or shorts so tight that they look like them is cool, let's really get into it. Since we're on the internet, it's not just adults on the internet. It's not just adults seeing the Megan the Stallion challenge. It's little boys and little girls. So imagine what this is doing to their mind. When little boys are seeing these things on the internet, it's making them lust after women. You don't see the problem with that? When little girls are seeing these things on the internet, women twerking and pain, it's making those little girls at most times want to do those things. It's influencing them. And you want to know how I know it's influencing little kids? Because it's influencing grown adults. Well, he's sitting here talking about, oh, you're trying to police women. That's what we need. This is out of control. Men and women are out of control. That's what police are for. Out of control people. See a ring on your finger. Sir, you're married. Imagine your wife getting on here doing that. You don't see the problem with that? I would hope you do. You wouldn't want your wife doing that. You wouldn't want your daughter doing that. So why try to normalize it? But you know what, though, since I'm the bad guy in the situation, I'm going to let y'all have it because y'all minds are just out of control. I can't handle it. Mm -hmm. God bless.
I find this quite hilarious. So since I don't want my woman on the internet showing her cheeks and her cleavage and her, uh, her meow, I'm insecure. Make that make sense. Since I don't want my woman on the internet diminishing herself doing the Megan Thee Stallion challenge, I'm insecure and controlling. Okay, let, let's talk about it. See, in 2024, we've lost shame. We have to bring shame back. We're not shaming anymore, so this is the problem. We are normalizing slut behavior. And what's even funnier is women don't like men that have a standard or have self-respect and morals. It's blowing my mind. When a man says, no, you can't post that, you can't wear that, because they're diminishing themselves. So when they're doing these Megan Thee Stallion challenges, these women are diminishing themselves and objectifying and sexualizing themselves. When a man says, I don't want my woman doing that, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's controlling. He's insecure. Oh, God, don't bring me an insecure man. Don't bring God in this. This has nothing to do with God. This ain't nothing but the devil. And since you want to bring God into it, God doesn't want you to act in this way. God doesn't want you to do that. So don't bring God into it because he does not want you to act in this way or dress in that way and oh. act in that way. God condemned Jezebel. And yet we have a lot of Jezebels going around acting like this is cool. Wow. Y'all got it, though, man. God bless you. Please go down in the comment section and share your thought. Love to know what you think about these conversations down in the comment section. Do you think that men saying that they don't want their women dressing like that or doing the mega the stylum challenge? Do you think it's men policing women? And do you think it's men that are insecure that are coming for women that are doing this challenge? Let me know your own thought down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful as all is here on this channel. We're allowed to disagree. We're a family here. We have amazing conversations. So feel free to share your thoughts. So for me personally, I already shared some of my thoughts on the first video I did about people's reaction to the mega the stylum uh, challenge. But one thing I also want to add to it is that first I already said that uh, do you love you and do just be yourself if you enjoy it go ahead do it especially when you're not doing it to get the attention of men get it but like the other sister said it's also in that point where women are already desensitized men so women are doing things that they want to do and for the longest time as a woman i personally which is something i saw especially in my society in my culture i like a lot of people say that's you always say that because that's what i can refer to uh usually these type of the things that they tell you as a woman what to do, what to wear, how to dress and all that. Even as a married woman, they try to tell you t certain things to do, how to do it, where to do it. And for me, I see that as being policing. And if you come to talk about, oh, like the other man said that Stitch is like, you know what? These same women, you are calling hoes and all that and calling all names. When do you, some of them want to cheat? These are the same women they go cheat with. They, um, last week ago, we were yeah, about um, uh, fresh and fit talk um pregnancy saga i didn't do that video because let me know if you guys want me to do that video so that maybe i do the compilation of people reaction to that but fresh and fit that comes up with the a red p guy like man let's do this we want a uh we want um, a homemaker and all that go look at the girl he's banging go look at the guy got pregnant that recorded him and posted online to call him out and him begging her to get an abortion so when this man come to say oh no we don't want our wife to like why? Why don't you? Why are you so uncomfortable with your wife doing something that she feels comfortable? If she feels comfortable wearing a certain clothes, why can't she wear it? If she feels comfortable doing certain dance, why can't she dance the dance? And coming for someone, me, I'm the person that I like. I do what I want to do. Like, I show skin and all that and all that. And somebody will say, oh, why do you do that and all that? And growing up as a child or as a young girl was something that I was shame about for wanting to show my shoulders my legs and those are some of the things that i enjoy like i genuinely just like showing my legs my shoulders it's just something i naturally just enjoy i feel like i have good legs and like sometimes i usually stay on my house i say wait let me get that flat tummy and then you will see <laughs> and thank god for the man i have my husband he didn't police me, even though, yes, at the beginning of the relationship, he was like, you know what, I really don't like it. I really, my, my husband doesn't like short mini clothes. My husband doesn't like it. -da 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 -da. He doesn't like it. But I love it. So I'll wear it. And from the beginning of the relationship was something that I set the ground with. I'm like, you know, I'm not going to change who I am because of you. This is what I love. And if you don't, if you can't deal with it, then that's, that's your problem because I'm not going to change to fit the box that you're creating right now and i've been doing what i'm doing my husband comes from a family where they are very very conserved they don't show legs they don't show body they don't show skin that often but me i do even when i go for family functions 
with him. I show skin, I show legs, and some of them will be giving me the side eye like, and now who? But I still do it because I love it. And that is what women do what makes you happy. If you feel comfortable in it, if you love it, if you like it, do it. Don't let any man, don't let anybody either on the internet physically to tell you otherwise. Do it. Do it. You guys should wait. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me have my flat thumb. You will be sick of me. Because <laughs> I'm that girl. I love showing skin. I like being comfortable. I like, like, that is just who I am. That's my energy. That's my vibe. And it has nothing to do with, oh, being a good wife or being a good girl or being a good person. No, it does not. It comes from a whole lot of insecurity for men trying to control what women do, how we do things. So if you want to do the mega asylum um, challenge, go ahead, girl. Check the ass. <laughs> Just about that. They are complaining. Go shake it if you can shake it. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful as always. Please share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah with that all said guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video to see